Hey guys, this is Troy. Today we're going to be going over Ubuntu DDE, or Deepin Desktop Environment 20.10. Hey guys, thank you for watching Mainstream Linux today. We're going to go over Ubuntu DDE 20.10. Now I'm going to be quite honest, I've never used Deepin, and I am getting ready to skip through this, and hopefully you guys can uh, bear with me, because like I said, I've never used it. Um, right off the box, it really is definitely beautiful. It is a great looking Distro out of the box. Let me see here. Oh, and the wallpapers are on the bottom. Let's see. I'm just going to pick something different. Yeah, there we go. Okay, anyway, we've got over here. What do we got? Okay. Okay, so we got a launch over here for music, movie, screen capture, image viewer, album, document viewer, text editor, Thunderbird mail out of the box. That's terminal document scanner, computer, so I can go to all categories right there. So, internet gives me Thunderbird, gives me Firefox, music, I guess that's their own design, goes right along with it. Awesome. So, I guess you can scan your music in here and have everything locally. That is great. That is definitely good looking as well. Um, please select your operation. Yeah, let's go ahead and minimize it. Let's see if I can dark. I like, I love the white theme, but I, I kind of lean over towards the dark theme. So you, not only can you get the dark theme there, you can also change your accent color. This is awesome, guys. Ubuntu DDE is definitely over there knocking it out of the park. Icon theme, so you can go through and pick whatever icon you want. Cursor theme, fonts. Online accounts, I take it, or is that your local account? That's your local account display. And like I said, I'm set up at 1680 by 1050. For some reason, it would let me go to 1920 by 1440 in the virtual box, so I do apologize for that. Uh, default application, so you can come in here and set up your defaults for mail, text. Okay, awesome. Personalization, that's where we just were at. Network, we're on a wired connection because we're in virtual box. Sound, uh, output, input for the microphone, sound effects. So you can change the sound effects or that's awesome. Date and time, I've already adjusted that to my local time. Power, mouse, keyboard, system info. So we're on Ubuntu 20.10, which is the Groovy Gorilla release. This is the remix on the Deepin desktop environment. We're on the Linux kernel 5.8.0-25. Uh, I'm presently on an Intel Core i5. I've assigned it two cores, and I've given it two gigabytes of memory. And let me tell you something, guys. Um, it's pretty snappy with just two gigabytes of memory. Uh, startup delay is off. Theme is on. So that's pretty impressive. That is really impressive. So let's go over here back into the meat. Uh, we've already done Internet. Okay. Internet, we've done Thunderbird, Firefox, uh, Video. Got a movie player out, screen capture, cheese, graphics. Oh, you get GIMP out of the box. So you can just light it up and go and be productive right out of the box. This is great. These guys over there are doing an awesome job. Let's see what else we got over here. All categories. Games, 2048, chess, mahjong, sudoku. Office. So LibreOffice out of the box, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the 7.0.2.2, but I'm going to double check. Okay, so there's LibreOffice popping up. I don't know why it took so long. I think it was something on my end um, about LibreOffice. Yes, just like I thought, 7.0.2.2, close. So that's, that's great, and I like the dock down here. Let's look at the file system. There we go. Like I said, I'm sorry it's a little slow. Ooh, really love the presentation of the file system on the Ubuntu DDE Remix here. This is this is definitely, I like this. So you can go to desktop, videos, and just, so you've got everything there, and then you've got your disks listed here. 
this is very impressive. I may have to work with this one a little bit. Okay, there's your pictures. Uh, music, calendar. And that should take me to settings right there. That's awesome. And that extends. Okay, so I can have my applets here and then I can shrink them down a little bit. Then you got an on screen keyboard. This is pretty awesome. I got to give it to the Ubuntu DDE guys. This is very, very impressive. What do we have here? That's my desktops. This application cannot run without window effect. That's right. I got the window effects off. That's displays. That's okay. So this is okay. That's your oh, you got a specific downloads folder right there. So you got quick access to it. That's awesome. That is definitely awesome. Can you make that bigger or smaller? What does that do? Okay, so you got the okay, so you can click on here and it'll make it full screen, or you can click on that and it'll make it that I like that I like that's that's what Linux is all about right there. Free is in freedom. I can have it smaller or I can have it bigger. That is awesome. Um, let's see what we got here. System monitor. Let's look at what we're doing here. Processes. Okay. So like I said, at person at, at present, I got a whopping two gigabytes of memory atone for this. It's running at about 1.13. Um, and that's with the desktop open, system monitor open, update notifier running in the background, the tray. So, I mean, you're sitting at 1.13 gigabytes. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Uh, that's running less than, I think, a regular GNOME uh, runs or GNOME or however you want to want to pronounce it everybody pronounces it a different way and here's all the services that are running in the background so yeah I like that system monitor too that looks really nice that looks really nice well I got to give it up to the guys over at Ubuntu DDE this is definitely a beautiful distribution uh, it's a very easy distribution to get around uh, I'm very very impressed we've already seen system info okay well Guys, let me tell you something. I've uh, done reviews over the past couple days of uh, uh, Ubuntu. I've done Ubuntu XFCE. I've done Ubuntu Budgie. I was really, really impressed with Budgie, but I have to admit, um, I think right now, in my personal opinion, uh, Ubuntu DDE jumps in front of Budgie uh, by leaps and bounds. It's a very beautiful distro, an easy distro to get around, uh, and it may be one that I... Uh, install and spend a little bit more time with i'm presently like i said on manjaro kde uh, it's my daily driver but uh if i was going to change this would probably the definitely be the distro i would go for so if you're if you're presently on a distro that you're unhappy with or or getting tired of i would definitely give ubuntu dde 20.10 a shot um if you're on windows and you're ready to make that jump to linux this would definitely be a, a user-friendly distribution that you could uh, get around real easy and real quickly with. Uh, it's a beautiful distribution. Um, uh, to, you know, this is great. I want to give a shout out to everybody over at Ubuntu DDE 20.10. You guys are doing a hell of a job. This is a beautiful distribution, and uh, I definitely see a future in this one. Uh, this one gives you everything that you want and everything that you could possibly need all in one place. Um, I want to thank you all for watching today. Uh, if you would, please like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification icon so when another video comes out, you're notified. But thank you so much for watching Mainstream Linux.